welcome back to Methwood's third cooking blog. Um, today we're going to keep it really simple and it's going to be just a, a really short blog. Uh, we're going to make a plain, very simple um, sticky rice. Uh, we're making it the way um, my mother used to make it um, and it's a really versatile dish. It's cheap to make um, and you can add it, you, you know, it's the base for so many things. You can make it, have a tin of fish with it. You can make it if you're a vegetarian, steam a whole lot of different veggies, pour a bit of um, ketchup manna on top, which is just thick, sweetened soy sauce. Uh, the secret to making sticky rice is to always use a short grain rice. Um, it's just the glutinous processing of short grain and I keep mine in a jar at home so um, if you don't have I eat quite a bit of rice but if you have just small amounts of rice keeping it in the fridge is even better for the shelf life of your rice uh, I'll put all this information on the um, website or Rhonda will put it all on the website and with a link to the recipe, as well as these hints that I'm talking about now with the short grain. So I've made some garlic butter, which is in the saucepan behind me, and I will go over to the stove in a minute, and you can watch the cooking process. So I always add um, the garlic butter and a little bit of coconut oil. Um, so I can't see the label. So just um, so that we get a nice glutinous sticky uh, rice. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we're at the stove now. I've got my garlic butter, about two tablespoons of garlic butter, um, probably about a tablespoon of coconut oil. I've got one cup of the short grain rice that I've washed. And I've also got nearly a litre of chicken stock. But, you know, you can make your own chicken stock or you can buy it. Um, or your veggie stock if you're a vegetarian. There are some really good stocks um, available in the shop. So now we're just going to bring... I'll just turn that heat up a little bit. We are going to bring our um, butter and oil to melting point and then we're going to add the rice and then we're just going to add the stock until we get this lovely thick sticky rice. My mum used to call it cage in French. Um, Okay, so you can see now that it is nice and hot, so we'll add our rice. It's always good to add the rice in with the oil and the butter, just because it sort of um, coats the rice, I guess. going to turn that down a little bit. Okay. And my stock is, is hot. It's good if you've got another small um, saucepan so you can keep the stock hot. So it's a bit like cooking a risotto um, with your rice until you get the sticky consistency. I'll come back in a little while. Okay, so we're back now. Um, only a few minutes has passed, but I can see the rice grains are swelling up. Um, I'm almost <clears throat> halfway through my um, stock. You just have to be a little bit uh, patient when you're cooking sticky rice that you don't leave it alone that you just stand there for the 
10, 15 minutes, I suppose, that it takes to cook it. Um, but towards the end, um, when it's cooked a little bit more, I will put the lid on and just let the steam finish cooking it off. So really we're just incorporating the stock at a little bit at a time. Um, and there's parsley, if you see the little bits of green in there, um, there's parsley that I've added to my garlic butter. I used to make a lot of different sorts of um, butters as well, you know, to cook with, especially in summer. So I might grate um, lemon rind and put the, and mix it with the butter and maybe some garlic flakes. And then when you're grilling a piece of fish or something, you can add the, um, you can add the, butter and it just flavours your meal, really. Um, so you can see how all that stock that I just added has um, in, been incorporated and the rice is getting a bit thicker again. I think we'll use um, all of our stock to get the right sticky consistency for our rice. So I'll be back in a few minutes. This is the last stage of our sticky rice. So you can see how all the stock has been incorporated now. Um, and there's only that small little bit of runny consistency. So it's not quite sticking yet. So what we do now is when you've reached that stage, put a lid on it and turn it right down to low, as low as you can get it, um, and just leave it for about five minutes. So our sticky rice is finished now, and this is what it looks like. So you can see why it's sort of sticky rice or, um, you know, it's all incorporated, the stock is all incorporated. It smells really yummy. So now you can add um, a little bit of steamed veggies um, or open a small tin of fish, add to it, and you've got a healthy, nutritious meal. So please don't forget down the bottom um, of the video, click on the link, get the recipes. And what we'd like to hear from you guys as well is please, let us know what you would like um, us to cook. So, you know, we can, how can we help you? I'll do the research, I'll find out um, what we need to, and we can give it to you at our next cooking vlog. Thanks guys. Team Mithwa, bye.